Hello friends, if you have a Akai APC Mini and uh, use MIDI key to key to let the lights light up and want to have something like this, the active button turns into red, the others stay green. This could be done in the older versions but with a lot of work, now much more easy or to set them all to yellow or set them all to off. Programming this in less than one minute and watch this video. So if he, we want to have all of the buttons in this row to be green and especially the one we press to turn into red. In the older days, we did the following. Turn unlock to window, press that one. Double click the node on event. Deactivate the, the PC action and then send MIDI, activate it and then type in the command. In this case, you can see 90. 3F and uh, 0, 01 to, to be green. And to find out what the second is, um, push it once. You can see it's 9037. 9037, 00 would be off. So, and then all this, uh, the rest of those. This is, uh, well, it's uh, a lot of work. But now we can do this quicker by using the APC Mini Helper. But to start over, we go to File, New, and give it a new name, APC Demo. <clears throat> and now, <clears throat> again, double click on this event, which is the, the, the very last button at the top. Deactivate keyboard action, send MIDI, activate, and now get the uh, Akai APC MIDI helper, move it aside, choose the color, first of all, green, yellow, red, or off, or in addition, blinking. Blinking and off doesn't work, but blinking and green, for example. We want to have them all green and the one that's active turned to red. So if we open in the, in the very top, choose red, Click the one and you see now the command is 93F03 set. And now this value goes into this window programmed. Now for the rest of those, we go to green, push the second one, set, and you see now this is the right command, uh, zero 01 to turn this one green. And so on with all the rest of those buttons. We can let it be green, third, set, fourth, set, fifth, set, six, set, seven, set, and the eight, set. So now for the action for this first button, all the commands are set, just hit save. That's it. To check this, and you see they are all set. The others don't do anything because we programmed just the first. <clears throat> for the next action, for the second one, we put the first one into green and the second into red. But this we do more quicker. Off, send MIDI, active, Akai Mini Helper. And now, at first, we choose the, the one that's it's going to be set to red, this one, set, and uh, we could go on like I showed you in the first example, but now we use the auto set button, checkbox. <clears throat> that means if we have pre-chosen a color and push just the, uh, the button here, it will be set automatically in this window without need to use the set button like this. Put to green, all of these green, tuck, 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 and we are done. Save. If we open a new window for the third button, this one needs to be closed and reopened again. But 
Now I'll show you how quickly this can be done. But check out the uh, our second button. Well, it's working. So now for the third, I push the third node on double active. This one, Akai Mini Helper. The third one should be red. This is this one. Use the auto set for the green. Close, save, the fourth. Deactivate, send MIDI, activate, mini helper. The fourth should be red. And the others auto set green. Close, save, the fifth. Double click on the node on, deactivate, activate. We see mini helper, red auto set to the fifth. This is this one. Four, five, eight, close, safe. Six, double click. Deactivate, send MIDI, activate, archive okay, mini helper, red auto set. This one, green. Close, save, the seven one, double click, deactivate, activate, mini helper, red auto set, seven, green, three, four, five, six, and eight, close, save, and the last one, double click, Activate, activate, okay, mini helper. We put them all to green. Three, four, five, six, seven, and now to red, the eighth one. Close, save, that's it. There's, oh, this is not true. Uh, there's a mistake with the fourth and the third. Okay, now let's see how we can correct this. The fourth is not really working. And the third. So what's the third? It's the 92F. 2F is this one. Edit. Send MIDI. Just remove all of these and start over again. So this should be the third. Auto set. One, two, that should be red. And the third, two, red. Okay, save. Okay, now the third is working, but the fourth is not. See what the fourth is, is 9027. Where's the 9027? Oh, we didn't use this, didn't we? Oh, we have two of these, 2F. And let's see which one is the uh, the wrong one, or just delete this one. So edit number four and hit the delete. Okay, now let's see if, the, if this is still working. Two, three. Yes, and the fourth is missing, so we reprogram the fourth. Double click on the node on. Deactivate, activate, okay, mini helper. Red on the fourth set, and now with auto set, the green. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Close, safe, check it out. Okay, now it's working. And in addition, if you want to have all of these, the last three columns in, in yellow, let's say with this button, 
I push that one, double click. Send MIDI active and now PC MIDI helper put to yellow, use auto set and now all of these three times 824 to yellow. Close, save, check it out. All yellow. If and uh, if we want to turn them off, let's say use this button. Double click on the node on. Deactivate send MIDI activate a PC mini button. Now LED off is the one we want to use and push all of these buttons again once. Oh, doesn't help. <laughs> Need to set the auto set check mark six seven eight 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 close and save and now we have them this one to turn them all into yellow this one to turn them all off and these to change the colors. So this was a short demonstration how to use the new APC helper just for light up your lights on the APC mini for this tab for the send MIDI tab. It's also used especially for train simulator. Check out the other video. It's linked in the description to have um, listeners that listen to, to events happening to um, from Train Simulator and then uh, let a light on your APC light up in case some controller ID changes value. But this is in a different tutorial video. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Bye-bye.